game with me here this evening. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of video, and then uh, we're going to stop it, and I'm going to ask you a question, and you just shout out the answer. Let's start with the first video. You're going to have to make up the sound yourself. Okay. Whenever you're ready to stop, Matthew. Okay. What are they selling? Okay. A computer of some sort. Good. All right. Anyone know what? All right. Do we have the sound on that to keep playing it? Okay. Let's go to the next one then if you can. It's a Samsung computer is what they're selling. And uh, if we were playing the rest of it, you see this uh, young pregnant person with her uh, partner, and they're celebrating Christmas with uh, enjoying their Samsung computer. Or is it a Samsung that they're selling? Let's look at one more video. What's being sold in this video? Let's just see if we can listen in. We've seen this maybe. Thank you, Matthew. So what was it they're selling? Apple Apple computers. Very good. So the last one, last advertisement. Uh, If we can get to that last one, uh, let's just see what's being uh, sold in this advertisement. What are they selling? (laughs) Penguins. Excellent. Rocks. (laughs) Kind of. Let's keep it going. (laughs) Okay, so they were selling diamonds. I also found on sale uh, one of these items. I don't know if anyone has found this. It's really high tech. I'm going to need a volunteer. This young lady, she could volunteer. And we're going to use this high tech tool to get my Christmas kiss. There we go. Thank you, lovely. That is my wife, by the way, so just, I probably should have pointed that out. (laughs) So all these things have in common love. Really, love is what's in all those videos. The penguins are in love. The couple getting to have the baby are in love. The granddaughter is in love with her her grandmother. All these things have in common Now, when we turn our mind, though, from these modern commercials and this great high-tech apparatus I found here, uh, we find ourselves maybe asking, is this love? This is love? The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Is overshadowing a good thing or a bad thing? Or then that this is kind of the same thing that's overshadowing is what happened in the Old Testament when God entered in a great cloud into the tabernacle. I'm not sure that would make the commercial. And again we read, uh, and her husband being a just man and unwilling to put her to shame resolved to divorce her. Divorce? Is this love? Let's listen now as our drama is proclaimed here. We will first hear from the Virgin Mary giving an idea what it might have been like to be in her position. But Joseph is the husband my parents and my brothers selected for me. How can I become pregnant in a way that does not have anything to do with Joseph? Won't I bring shame on my family? Won't I bring shame on Joseph? Will I be punished by the elders? Stoned? In the Old Testament, when it came to the kind of things that Mary was finding herself confronting, it could have been very threatening indeed. And so how might she have responded? Well, what about her husband, Joseph, or her betrothed, Joseph? How might he have responded to his circumstances? Mary's pregnancy makes me look guilty, guilty of compromising the time of betrothal. The elders might whip me, or even worse, find me a hundred shekels of silver and give the silver to Mary's father. 
These things are based in some of the Old Testament teachings, and it's very possible that these could have been the response. This is love? And then we hear about Caesar taxing them and a baby being put in a feeding trough and they having no place? This is love being overshadowed, breaking the betrothal practices, divorce, dishonored family members, taxes, homelessness. This is the kind of thing psychologists today call death, directed attention fatigue. When you have so many things coming at you, you just feel worn out and completely exhausted. Maybe some of us here this evening have daff, as we've been trying to celebrate Christmas since somewhere before Halloween. I'm not sure. This is love coming down at Christmas. Again, let us listen to the text. You have found favor with God, the angel said. And behold, you will conceive Mary in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. Now we're talking. Now it's sounding like a blessing. Maybe there is love in this desperate scene after all. Here at the Family of Faith, when we come to the gold words, we read them aloud as a church family. Would you please join me in reading from Luke chapter 2, verse 11? For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. A Savior in the middle of that divorce case? A Savior in the middle of this overshadowing and this taxing and this homelessness? Yes, love is found in just such a circumstance. Not only love, but the very Savior of the world. And these texts here tell us that Jesus is God. He's God in flesh come to save us us. Jesus is God in one person. He's 100% divine, and he's 100% human, and he is this unique combination for our salvation. If you were to take a trip over to the Museum of Fine Art in Houston, you would find this picture. This picture is an ancient picture of Jesus and his adoring family, and you see I-H-S, which spells Jesus, And what you might not see is right here is a cross. Jesus' name means he who saves. Jesus' love has come to us not in a cute advertisement, not in a high-tech mechanism like my mistletoe mechanism, but in a real live person who spent his life that we might have joy not only this evening, but for all eternity. The love coming down on that first Christmas made people react and respond. Behold, I am the servant of the Lord, the Virgin Mary said. Let it be to me according to your word. Even though she knew it could be a very desperate circumstance, she responded to that true love. And Joseph as well, as he took into his care Mary, even though he knew it could come at a great social price. So what about us here this evening? This is love? Many of us might already be experiencing too much. Eating too much, is this love? Drinking too much, is that love? Spending too much, is this love? Watching too much football, of course that wouldn't be anyone here. Too much of fill in the blank. Maybe we need some medicine, or is there too much of that too? Is this love? Here in our church, we responded to the gospel in many ways throughout this season. Here's our new director of children's ministry with her car filled with Project Christmas Child gift boxes, given generously in response to the gospel by you, the people of God here at the Family of Faith. Those boxes went to Macedonia and Peru. The love of Christ came down this year and affected people even internationally. We had our wonderful movie night. People came forward and helped with decorating. Little people in the Family of Faith preschool dressed themselves up in the costume of Mary and Joseph and shared the gospel with us. They were responding and showing us the love of God coming down into our midst. Some of you might see the addition that we're putting on, the extra effort we're putting into our preschool. And of course, we would love to serve any child in our preschool and after school and before school care. You saw the love of Christ coming down as we lit candles together and sang last Sunday. Again, we'll do that here this evening as an expression of the love that we find in Christ our Lord. Here is this special meal that we have prepared. Not ham, not turkey, it's the Lord's Supper. 
and it's fed to us for the very reason Christ came down at Christmas, for the forgiveness of our sins, the feeding of our soul, pointing us to hope even beyond Christmas itself, pointing us to the hope of everlasting life in heaven. There are so many ways that Christ is still coming down this Christmas. We have this entire program guide to share with you, and well into the next year, there are many activities which we will invite you to. Also, we have these little books that have been donated. Please take one home and enjoy that as a gift from our church, as an expression of the love of Christ in our midst. I don't know how you have your tradition in your family, but in our family, when it comes to opening gifts, we have a small ritual. But our ritual has been missing something, namely prayer. So this evening we have these special decorations with this special prayer on it that we would invite you to pray before you rip into all those packages. Let me read it for you. Before you start to open your gifts beneath the tree, come gather here together and say a prayer with me. We thank God for these blessings, the gifts of love we give, but most of all we thank him for being born that we may live. Wouldn't that be a great way to have the love of Christ come down this Christmas and be with us in our homes before we open all those gifts that God has provided us? We have gifts for your children before you leave tonight too. That's what you'll find in these little brown bags. Another way of expressing God's love. Here at the Family of Faith, we've tried to summarize all this that fills our heart, and we've done so not so much in a hymn, but in this mission statement. It's been around many years, and I'd like you to join me in that right now. Please join me in confessing and stating our mission as the family of faith. The family of faith is a place to call home for people gathering in Christ, celebrating in worship, reaching out in love, extending God's forever kingdom. Let's pray about these things this evening. Would you join me? Dear Lord in heaven, we thank you for the love that you've given us in our families, in our marriages, in our relationships, and we ask you, Lord, to bring us a love that is the most supreme kind, the kind that comes in the very person of our Savior Jesus Christ. Yes, 2,000 years ago, there in Bethlehem, but also right here, right now, and well into the future. We ask you, Lord, to help us savor your presence in our midst, your forgiveness, your mercy, your grace, that it might be with us both now and again forever in heaven. We pray it in Christ. Amen.